Hi, my name's Phil Wildman from SY Electronics, and today we're going to talk about RS232 serial connections. How do we actually connect you know, these things up? So we've got some connectors here, we've got some adapters, what they're all for, what do they do, and so on. Well, let's have a look now. We're going to look at a few bits and pieces that we've got. So if I show you these things, so this is a DB9 connector, so quite often have to connect the DB9 to the back of a device or maybe to the back of your control system. So SY control panels will have these Phoenix style connectors. They're screw terminal uh, connections. So you put the cable in into the back there, you screw them down and they're fixed. And that's industry standard. And you may have this both ends onto your device, like your switcher, amplifier, and so on. You may have, for instance, on our matrices, we have uh, DB9 connections. So we've got this um, DB9. If we're going to wire this up, how do we connect one cable from one end to the other? Well, this has got screw terminal connections on the back. Sometimes they're soldered. Sometimes you have little screws. The soldered ones are obviously good, but this is good for showing you which pins go to where. So what pins are we interested in seeing? Well, we want to get the uh, transmit pin to go to the receive pin on the other end. We want to get the receive pin here to go to the transmit pin on the other end. And then we want ground pin to go to ground. So what connections are which? Well, pin two is the receive pin. Pin three is the transmit pin. And pin five is the ground connection. I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to show you. So I've got a continuity tester here. So if I go to the pin two connection on the back and we'll look at pin two there, second one in, and then I'll go to pin three. So it's just to prove the point to you. So that's, uh, I think that's in on pin three on the back. Now we go to the front, it's the middle pin on the top row, and then pin five, and to know is the very last one. There we go. So now, if we want to connect up these things, we just run a, a wire, a multiple wire. We want three cores. We want pins two, three, and five to go from one plug to the other plug, or perhaps from one plug to the Phoenix connector type plug at the other end. And then the user manual of your device, it will show you which pins are which on the Phoenix terminal connector. So to program a device or to connect from your laptop to a serial device, if you've only got a USB connection on your laptop, which probably most of us have, in the old days you could get a serial port on the side of your laptop. You don't really get that now, it's all USB. So you need some kind of adapter like this one. So you plug this into the side of your laptop and then you've got the connections that you need on the back. So it'll be marked pins two, three and five or receive, transmit and ground. So you connect your wire there. You put your um, wires onto the Phoenix, plug the other end. So you plug that in your laptop, connect your wire there. You put this end onto your device and then you can program your switcher, amplifier and so on. So there we go then. That's a little bit more about how you terminate and connect RS-232 and serial connections and wiring. So as always, thanks for watching this video and we will see you hopefully on the next one.